Hi, today I'm going to talk about optimistic concurrency data access. Many enterprise applications need to handle concurrency issue. For example, multiple users try to update a record at the same time. Using version number for optimistic concurrency is a common approach to solve the concurrency problem. Let's create a, a new database called version. In this database, we are going to create a table called customer. In this table, there's name and version. And we insert field record into the table. And let's create a project. And I'm going to use WPF project. First, we are creating a customer class that map to the table we just create. And in this example, I'm going to use ADO.NET API for the data access. We need to add the system.config. Because the connection string information are stored at the app config file. Okay, what do we have in this data access? class. We have read. Basically, it re returns, for example, uh, customer information. One record. Read list, uh, like return a list of the customer, all the customer. And then we have insert. We have update. We have delete and set parameter is a helper function to basically uh, set the uh, SQL parameter. And then next, we are going to create a common data access API. In this data access API, uh, we have get customer, get customers, insert customer, and update customer. Basically, we are going to pass the SQL into the ADO data access API uh, with the parameter. And then we are going to create the view model. For the WPF uh, MVVM data binding. Uh, in this view model, we have customers, selected index, and current customers.
and then we go to the main window code behind to set up the view model binding. In here, we are creating a new customer view model and then we get all the customer from database and assign to the view model customers and then we assign the view model to data context of the main window and go, let's go to the demo In the SAML, uh, we have a stack panel. Inside stack panel, there's a list box, items source, bind to customers of the view model, and set the display member path to name, and select the item bind to the current customer. Select the index bind to select the index of the view model mode set to two-way. Here we want to show the selected index uh, on the view and then in here we bind a text box name name text box to current customer dot name and update source trigger set to property change and then we have a button this is for uh, save the update after we modify our current customer let's go to the code behind of the button save on click Uh, in this button, save on click, uh, call back, uh, we assign the view model current customer to a value and then check if the current value, current customer is not equal to no, and then we will try to update the current customer. Here we will refresh the current selected item when data is modified by someone else. Which means if I try to update this customer information, but the information is already updated by my coworker, then uh, the database record won't get updated. Instead, I will get the latest data show on my screen. So I will check the row affected equals zero. If it is equals zero, then I get the view model select the index as the current select the index. And then I use data access to get the current customer to get latest customer information and then assign the latest customer to the current index of the customer in the customer collection and then set the uh, current index to the selected index the current selected index to the selected index okay uh, let's test the uh, code a little bit Oh wait, before I do that, I think I need to add the connection string information into the app config. Let's compile it. 
component. Okay, now the binding works. We can select different uh, customer and the detail information is updated. Let's try to update the first customer name to be Ken. And then we simulate uh, other people update the same record by go to the table and change it this to Lee and submit a change. And okay, now the first customer name is changed to be Lee. So here, if we click save, we shouldn't save can to the database since the record is updated by other user. Instead, we should get Lee to display on the view. Let's click on save. This is what we have. Again, this is the code behind that handle the up the concurrency issue. Thanks a lot for watching the video.